In the aftermath of the nuclear attacks in Texas, America found itself on the brink of anarchy. Hundreds of thousands have perished in the nuclear attacks in Abilene and El Paso, Texas. The President has declared martial law in the state of Texas. FEMA has ordered the evacuation of citizens within two hours. The President of the United States has declared martial law in the state of Texas. The President has declared martial law in the history of our country. Good. Wow, we're going to have that. World War III had begun. Military checkpoints were erected at each state line. Interstate travel visas were required of each citizen. Dissenting liberal extremist cells began to emerge, the most vocal of which were the neo-Marxists. Interstate travel visas are frozen as the government issues a code red terror alert for the holiday weekend. Southland residents buckle down and stay put as LAX remains closed indefinitely. Southland residents honor the memories of loved ones lost in Texas as the city prepares to celebrate Independence Day on the third anniversary of the nuclear attacks. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Long after the bombs had fallen, the ones who are left want to do so much more than survive. At 11.05 p.m. in the east and 8.05 on the west coast, a series of explosions occurred at a number of sporting events and public gatherings. Something is wrong. Something is seriously wrong. This is not a normal riot. It is not. Release of a foreign substance or toxin. These things, what do you mean things? I'm staying on the air until they get this under control. The victims affected could be in the tens of thousands. Jesus Christ, what's happening? to change that. I can't leave my family. Don't pretend your family is exempt. When we talk about the end of humanity. Officials searching for answers as to who, what, or why did this We are also getting unconfirmed reports of explosions. Well, this is a diversion. Got Mr. Lund! The situation has changed completely.
Many of today's most popular video games take place in dangerous post-apocalyptic landscapes. But are these games doing enough to prepare our kids for the actual post-apocalyptic future? Я никогда не знала, как низко я могу пасть. И каким далеким может казаться мое прошлое. Когда-то я была красивой девушкой, богатой, купалась в бриллиантах. Теперь я побираюсь ради валюты, которая имеет хоть какое-то значение в этом мире. А моя гордость теперь она ничего не значит. Washington, D.C., huh? This goes all the way to Washington, D.C. Yeah, you Homeland Security? Yeah. How far have you taken this down to, uh, how, how far have you actually ran a load? Hundred miles? Up to Maine? No shit. How many miles do you think that is? Man, that's unbelievable. Not to mention, I heard uh, there's one that goes all the way to Colorado, right? Unbelievable. What do you think you're hauling? Any idea? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Crack makes all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's been a lot of military stuff being hauled around lately, that's for sure, huh? Yeah. We deliver to military. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Well, I appreciate it. I heard this water supply, food supply, everything's in there. Yeah, unbelievable. No. Peace, brother. I mean, basically, we got an underground. 
road, roadway system here that, that runs all the way to Maine, to Washington, D.C., to Colorado. It's fully stocked. Uh, it runs completely underground. Um, and you can see they've been hauling tons of military equipment. Um, you know, they're stocking all these bases. Now, the other thing is the railroad system here is also very strategic. They're bringing in large car loads and they're dump shipping here and they can really deliver to all these locations. Which, uh, these locations go all the way to Area 51. These locations go all the way to Washington, D.C. There's access underneath the White House to this location. Okay? So, this is a location which is really the new command center for the Illuminati and the United States government. Well, forget the United States government. This is a headquarters for the Illuminati. This is where they'll ship most of their supplies. When they go underground, they can stay underground for quite some time. And this is stocked with food, water, everything they need. It's an underground city. So, uh, the north entrance, and uh, we're going to go see if we can do some more digging.